Hi, it's Mr. Pete. I'm going to do some lessons with some geometry materials. We're going to get started today with the geometric solids. I will not be in the camera, you'll hear me, but I want to focus on the materials. And just a word, normally we do not present all of these solids in one lesson. It's a lot. But for today, we're going to look at all of them. So let's get started with the geometric solids. Our first solid kind of looks the same no matter which way you turn it. We're going to call that the cube. That's a cube. Next solid, you could roll it. We see what that shape is on the end, circle. This is called a cylinder. Our third shape. Again, it has a circle on the end, but we can't really stand it on that side. We're going to stand it this side. We call that a cone. I made up some labels. Just going to show you the labels so you can see the word, and I'll give you the name again. This is the cone. In the middle, we have the cylinder. And we started with the cube. Cube, cylinder, cone. Normally we'd stop here and we would do the next set on another day, but we're going to keep going. And while I'm changing these up, I want you to think about what you can do at home with the geometric solids. And we'll talk about that at the end. Next, we have a bigger shape. Square on the end. Rectangle on this side. This is called a rectangular prism. This is also a prism, but got a different shape on the end. Know what we're going to call that? Triangular prism. So we have triangular prism, and a rectangular prism. Rectangular prism triangular prism. Let me reach and get some stands I made for these next shapes. This shape here. Sometimes it stands up, sometimes it doesn't. Depends on where you're placing it, but I made a stand for it, but kind of an interesting looking shape. You might have something that looks like this in your refrigerator. This is called an ovoid. Next shape. You might have something like this in your garage. You might throw this back and forth. Don't throw this back and forth. This is called an ellipsoid. Ovoid, ellipsoid. Can you see how they look a little bit different? And our third shape. Sphere. It's round all the way around. This is a sphere. So we have sphere. Ellipsoid, ovoid, ovoid, ellipsoid, sphere. We got three more, I'm sorry, we've got two more shapes to look at. You know what this is? I know, you're all saying, hey, it's a pyramid. 
know what this is? It's a pyramid too. We got to differentiate these. We can do that by looking at the bases. The bases are going to tell us how they're different. Can you see how they're different? Our first pyramid, you guessed it, square base pyramid. And our other pyramid, triangular base pyramid. So we have the triangular base pyramid and the square base pyramid. I'll leave these back here and we will bring out our shapes, our solids, I'm sorry, all over again. We're not going to do them in the order we present. Eh, you know what? Let's go crazy. Let's do them in the order we presented them. Remember what this is called? It's a cube. I'm going to put it up front. Cylinder. Cone. Rectangular prism. Triangular prism. Back to the pyramids. Triangular base pyramid. Rec I'm sorry, square base pyramid. In rolls the sphere. Oh, well, ovoid. And the ellipsoid. So I kind of presented them a little bit differently. These are the geometric solids that we looked at today. What can we do with these at home? Well, obviously you might not have a set of these at home, but you've got shapes similar to this in your house. You have solids similar to this in your house. We talked about how this may be in your refrigerator. You might throw this back and forth with a friend or a sibling. Something else you might throw. Again, we're not going to throw these. Look around your house. You may have something that looks like a cube. You might have something that looks like a cylinder. Not summertime yet, but maybe you might have some cones. Maybe you might go out for some. Rectangular prism. All these shapes here, they're in your house somewhere. With your folks, take a picture, upload it to my Facebook page. Do some drawings, label them. Whatever you can think of, if you want to share some work with me, please do so and I will see you again. Stay safe and have a good day. Bye-bye.